the serenity, the solitude of a peaceful walk in the woods <laughs> until hikers arrive to this. Thank you. Thank you. This is my first time actually, and so my family said it was really nice views. I love it, it was worth it. We just wanted a quick, easy hike that was local, somewhere with a brew pub at the bottom or a pub at the bottom. Three, two, one. This is what's causing the swarming of the mountains. <laughs> Selfies and social media entice ever more people onto the trails. Despite the natural splendor, it's not entirely a pretty picture. The view is a lot different from down here. I mean, we all have a little guilty pleasure <laughs> with our social media, right? Megan um, Curran has lived and run a business in Deep we Cove for almost 15 was, it, years. It, it, the biggest challenge, I guess, is, is traffic. Because we have really limited infrastructure, we were built as a small community of vacation cottages. The infrastructure just doesn't support a lot of cars. Oh, I'm assuming you're looking for parking. Yes. Curran okay. persuaded the local government to restrict parking and the number of people on the trails. Ah. And the problem is more widespread. This pretty lake north of Whistler was so jammed with cars and people posting on social media that BC banned dogs, claiming too many of them hurt the environment. The social media spotlight has also potentially deadly consequences. It presents some challenges, that's for sure. North Shore Search and Rescue volunteers have seen a 30% increase in rescue calls since 2014. They can be in the city, they can be in their shorts and their flip-flops. You know, they don't recognize that the conditions can change very rapidly when you're in mountainous terrain. One recent example, a first-time hiker separated from her friends on a still snowy trail. By the time we got to her, she was hypothermic. She was absolutely dehydrated. But still, they keep coming and coming. You look like you're exhausted. Okay. <laughs> and as long as they keep clicking and posting, the crowds and the problems that come with them are unlikely to go away. Laura Lynch, CBC News, North Vancouver.